Welcome back. We're getting a piece of breaking news in connection with the multiple raids that have happened today by the CBI, all in connection with the land for jobs scam. The CBI top sources have told CNN News 18 that almost 200 property sale deeds and sale and purchase deeds have been found in these multiple locations. The raids that have happened across 25 places today. Uh, before these raids happened today, the CBI was aware of only three property deeds, but now the number is well over 200. It is entirely likely that huge amount of disproportionate assets were bought uh, from this uh, land for job scam, as it were. Remember, this dates all the way back to 2004, 2005, when Lalu Prasad was the railway minister. Uh, much of the land transactions then got accumulated, those properties got sold, and then malls were built in places like Delhi and Gurugram. Let me go across to Ashish Mehrshi, who has more details on this. So the fact that close to 200 or more than 200 property documents have been recovered in these raids, that means that the scope and scale of this scam, so far we had only known of 12 people who got these jobs, seven properties that had been, uh, that had been acquired. But now it seems that if they have sale deeds of 200 plus properties, then it is much bigger in scale than initially thought of. So, you know, if you see, Zaka, that Tejashvi Yadav has been trying to show that he's got nothing to do with this scam. If you would have heard his bite also, he had very clearly said that, you know, he's got no connection with the mall. But CBI here is saying that, you know, they have not made any mistake. They very much have evidence to show that there is a direct connection of Tejashvi Yadav with this mall and various other property documents that they have been able to find out during the searches. Now, my sources in the CBI tell me that, you know, initially they thought that maybe around four, maximum they could get around four to five property documents. But during the search, they found more than 200 property documents. And this is huge. There is a big chance that most of these properties could be, you know, bought from the proceeds of crime that we are talking about, the money which involves uh, uh, from the job from that scam. Uh, we all know that, you know, the companies involved are Whiteland Corporation and then there is also a company called Elite, uh, Elite uh, Land Base. Uh, this is another company in Gurgaon. These two companies have come under radar. There are various transactions which have come under radar of the, of the investigative agencies. The, my sources in the CBI also tell me that there is an undervaluation of shares. There is an investment of around 15 and a half crore rupees that have come through 0% convertible debentures, which in seven years would be changed into equity, which will be converted into equity. And there is another three and a half crore rupees of, okay. of, uh, of money that has come through unsecured loans as well. So there is undervaluation of shares that the CBI is looking at. And apart from that, there is a huge amount of property documents and the big chances that these properties would have come through the sale, through proceeds of crime, that is through the money that has been uh, generated through sale of properties right. which were purchased in Bihar by the by the other property. Uh, Ashish, property. we'll leave it at that. We'll see how this story plays out. We'll be taking this forward at 10 o'clock as well uh, with Mario Shakil. Meanwhile, let's shift focus to some of the other